The Cape Patterson Eco Village site is marginal, low nutrient country, not well suited to farming. The previous landowner who held the land for 20 years agrees. We bought the land as a hobby farm and we averaged about 55 cattle over the 20 years and the land is marginal because we had to put on at least $2,000 worth of superphosphate every year and because you put superphosphate on the land it becomes acidy so we'd have to put lime on with the superphosphate. One way to generate a greater yield from the land is to develop a well-planned community garden. 20 years ago I was involved in building a community environment park at Ceres in Melbourne. Ceres has a very successful community garden as well as a range of other things that we are going to build at the Cape Patterson Eco Village. We visited Ceres to talk to one of its founders, Eric Bottomley. Ceres has about 170 people working here, equivalent to 70 full-time jobs. Annual budget's about $8 million, most of which gets spent in the local community, in employment and in goods and services. We now have a half a million visitors a year. You know, 70,000 of those are students in organised education visits on all the sustainability themes. So you can gauge from that enormous interest. The move to local food, organic food, lower food miles, absolutely essential move to make, and um, as well as in terms of the health benefits for, and social benefits. So you'd think governments be falling over themselves <laughs> to invest in these areas because it, it ticks all the boxes. Do you think there'd be much interest in what we're doing? <laughs> I think that's putting it mildly, isn't it? There'd be uh, crowds lining up to come and see what you're doing. I mean, it'd be the only place in Australia that had pulled it off. Um, one of the few places in the world um, you might have more pilgrims than Mecca. Uh, yeah, I think it might create a bit of interest. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the concept of uh, trying to create an environment around a housing estate and also... Uh, a, a development that has a sense of community. We will get people who want to have holiday houses, we'll get retirees, we'll get local teachers and builders and plumbers and electricians and we'll get families moving in here. We'll get a real cross-section of people who are visitors and permanent residents coming here and living here. As well as that we're going to be building a community centre which will have facilities such as an art gallery, a cafe, uh, a conferencing space and a health and wellbeing space and that will be linked to the Cape Patterson Lawn Bowls Club which we're going to provide a home for here and all these facilities will be on offer and available to all people from the Eco Village and also the township of Cape Patterson. I think it's got great potential for the rest of the community, it's got all the walking tracks, the community hub will be a centre of activity which um, provide all sorts of facilities that are unavailable at, currently at uh, Cape Patterson. With the Eco Village development this will be open to the whole community to, to walk through and it'll be another space for people to walk through and appreciate because there are no real walking tracks in uh, Cape Patterson. I reckon that'll be another benefit. I think a lot of housing projects, they lack community infrastructure, whereas this development, that's the, one of the first things that they've looked at, the community getting together and, and working as a community. The population growth is um, going to continue to climb down here and there's going to be pressure on areas and it's really important we get a set a new standard for coastal development in, in areas like this and I think what we're proposing here is a really good balance between the environment, society and the economy. Because we've known about the Eco Village project coming online we get a chance to upskill not only ourselves but the local architects, the local plumbers, all the trades are starting to look at different sustainability options and the whole aim of that was to give us a better idea of how we're impacting on I guess the earth around us and what we can do to minimise those impacts and how we can build you know, more sustainably and responsibly. The concept of an eco village isn't new but the, the team that's involved in this can make this a really special and a real eco village. You know the vegetation regeneration, the architecture, the planning, the environmental impacts are all being dealt with by really good people and I think as an eco-village this is going to be the trendsetter. In terms of other developments that are proposed all the way up and down the coast there's nothing like this in terms of its contribution back to the environment. We've worked on a number of projects that incorporate different elements of sustainable design but this project will be the first one that brings together all the different elements such as water sensitive urban design sustainable architecture and massive habitat restoration and we believe it'll be a real benchmark project that sets a new standard for sustainable building in a coastal environment and it also will 
hold on to and retain the village atmosphere of Cape Patterson, which is what makes, makes this place so special. If you would like to learn more about any aspect of the Cape Patterson Eco Village, please contact Project Director Brendan Condon.